Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 55 of our course and in this lecture we will cover an example program in which we will use serial port interrupts, right? So let's proceed to our lecture. Okay, let's read the statement of the program that we have to write for this example. So use PIC 18F microcontroller. We will be using PIC 18F microcontroller in which controller receives a serial information from RX pin. Uh, so this is the RX pin and here uh, controller is receiving uh, serial information. That means of course we are talking about asynchronous mode because we are just covering asynchronous mode in this course, right? And uh, we will receive that information and we have to send it to port D. So send it to the port D. So port D would become our output port, right? And then we have to receive 8-bit value from port B. So 8-bit value is input value, which is being received from port B. So port B is our input port and transmit it serially. So we whatever the value which is being received from port, D, port B, uh, we have to transmit it serially. Uh, of course, again, uh, in synchronous mode through this TX pin, right? And one more we have given with these specification we have to use crystal oscillated 20 megahertz and baud rate 4,800 bits per second. And once we are going to uh, utilize that specific uh, rate and crystal oscillator, then SPBRG value, we have already uh, discussed in previous lectures, the formula and using that formula, uh, the value which will be evaluated for SPBRG register or X is 64.1, which is approximated as integer 64, right? So this is the value we will use in SPBRG. So let's write the code. Okay, I have written the code for this specific program. So let's discuss this code line by line. So very first line is originate zero zero, and then we go to go to main, right? So this is basically uh, just preset vector. So microcontroller will directly jump to this level, which is main, and this is our main program, right? Or main task. So it, it is our interrupt vector table. This is our main task. And this, these are uh, interrupt service routines, right? So let's discuss the main program. So what we are doing in our main program, originate 2A, we are starting with the location 2A hex, then clear up Christie, set up Christie. So we are declaring port B as input port and port D as our output port, which is required in this application. Then BCF Christie comma TX, we are making this TX pin, uh, which is present in port C as output pin and BSF Christie comma RX means we are making this pin as input pin. So this is just uh, the input output configuration. Uh, this section is just input output ports or pins configuration. Then we are coming to this next section of our code. And in this section, what we are doing move little to working 64 and we are sending into SPR, SPBRG register. It is what we discussed earlier. It is due to this uh, crystal oscillator and baud rate. We are using these two baud rates, uh, these uh, baud rates and crystal oscillator value. So the evaluated value using the formula is 64. So we are putting that value in SPBRG register. Then move little to working 20 hacks in transmit status register. So we are sending to, uh, 20 hacks in transmit status register for uh, asynchronous mode of serial transmission, right? And move little to working 90 hex, we are actually sending, we are enabling serial port enable and uh, as well as we are config, configuring uh, asynchronous uh, serial reception, right? So this is this section is written for serial port configuration. And now we come uh, to the section where we are enabling our interrupts, right? So BSF PIE1, TXIE, so we are enabling uh, transmitter enable, we are enabling receive enable. So these two lines are for individual enables of individual uh, enable bits of transmission and reception, right? And then next two line is interrupt control GIE uh, and PEIE, peripheral interrupt enable and global interrupt enable. We are enabling them just to enable overall interrupts, right? And then we don't have anything to perform in the main task. So what we are doing, we are continuously jumping on these lines, branch X, Y, Z and X, Y, Z is defined here. So we are continuously polling here. And then whenever uh, your eight bit value is received on port B, so what is going to happen? Uh, sorry, uh, some value uh, 
uh, has actually uh, received on port B. So what is going to happen? We go to transmission pin, right? That means we want to transmit this uh, value which is received on port B. We want to transmit that value to through transmit pin. So there will be interrupt whenever transmit register is ready to accept uh, the new value, right? So uh, in the start of the code, it will be ready because we haven't any uh, we haven't sent any specific value. So what is going to happen? Uh, generally, uh, in, in a start, interrupt will happen and we will receive the value, whatever the value present on the port B, we will copy it into uh, transport register. And how? Uh, we will do it using interrupt method. So we, there will be interruption. We will go here, it originate 08 hex, right? So this is the interrupt vector table. First of all, we are checking whether transport IF is one or not. If it is one, then of course, uh, we uh, we need to put some value in transport register. So we will go to uh, ISR TX, right? ISR TX means we are jumping to this service routine. Uh, we are, what we are doing, uh, copying the value of port B into transport register and returning back to this main code, right? And if we receive eight bit value from this receive pin, right? This is the receive pin. Uh, let me uh, highlight for you. Uh, so this is the receive pin. And if we receive eight bit value and receive register has eight bit value, so it will generate an interrupt and we will go back to this main code. So first interrupt we are checking for transmitter uh, flag. And then if it is not true, then we go to receive a IF flag, right? So this is the second interrupt we check here. And if it is high, that means receive value has already uh, received register has already received eight bits so it will jump to isr of receive so we will go to isr receive and isr receive is defined in, over here and in what we are doing in that interrupt service routine we are actually copying the value of receive register into the port d so whatever the data uh, received from uh port, for, from receive pin so that is present in rcre the register and that we need to copy into port d so that what we are doing in uh, interrupt service routine of receive register. So this is very simple code because we have already discussed these things in detail and now uh, we do not need much explanation. Everything is automatic. Uh, just one thing uh, we are introducing here is this section, right? This is the uh, this is the new section what we are con uh, what we are introducing in this lecture of uh, interrupt service routine uh, or interrupt interrupt method of serial port programming, right? So this is the something new, otherwise uh, you have done all the things uh, already in previous lectures. Okay, that's it from this lecture. If you have any question and queries, you can post them in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.